Yeah. <laughs> um, there seemed to be some question about exactly what's going on. Right. <laughs> now, obviously, I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't know what the military is doing. I don't know what, um, what the prosecuting attorneys are doing. I don't know what anybody's doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> now, I'm disliking you. Now, the Army's doing whatever the Army's doing, as is the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the National Guard, and any other individuals in the military. Right. I don't know what they're doing. I don't even know if you're watching these videos. <laughs> I could be putting them on YouTube and nobody's watching them. Pooch. <laughs> I could be emailing 2,500 emails a day, <laughs> identifying certain crimes, and I have no idea what you're doing. Why is that? Hmm. Well, you're not emailing, you're not calling, you're not doing anything. <laughs> you're just sitting there day after day, and some would say the army's using me to punish you, and then they would say that you're using me to punish me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm this bridge between those that are punishing me and then those that the army's punishing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true. I haven't gotten any phone calls. <laughs> but let's say under the penalty of perjury, right, under Washington state law, and that the above is true and correct, and perjury is a criminal offense. Mm -hmm. And um, you knowingly sent court notices through the United States Postal Service, knowing that I wasn't at that address under the penalty of perjury. Right. And your actual officers of the court or the city or the county. And you know what you're doing is fraudulent and it violates the penalty of perjury. Now, your whole plan was to get me put into a mental institution. Yeah. My whole plan is to get you put into prison and take everything you own. Yes. And then when you get out of prison, you can pay me for another 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to sue your employer. Right. I'm going to sue each and every state of the United States. You have no idea. See, I don't know what you're doing. You do know what I'm doing. I'm making videos every day. <laughs> and if you're watching them, then you do know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm emailing you every day. I'm informing you of crimes and... You have to certify under the penalty of perjury under Washington state law that what you're doing is true Ouch. and it's correct. Ooh. <laughs> now, when I asked Judge Landis, yes, uh-huh, <laughs> um, well, where'd you send it? Oh. <laughs> well, she said the last known address, and I think that was an honest answer. Yes. She was somewhat surprised about it because <laughs> she's kind of looking around her paperwork like, well, I don't really know. It's the last known address. <laughs> Good for you, Judge Landis, for not knowing where you are sending notices. <laughs> I told her to read the protection order. Yes. <laughs> and then I said, well, the petitioner didn't sign it. And something didn't register upstairs when I told her that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but under the penalty of perjury, can this be true? Uh, an acknowledgement of the receipt uh, if the signature does, uh, if the petitioner doesn't sign it? Yes. Did she actually fill this out or somebody else's handwriting's on this? Pooch. Was she really there? And did she motion the court? And then what address did she give for me when she didn't motion the court? Pooh. <laughs> now, see, under the penalty of perjury, any time the petitioner doesn't motion the court and the court motions the court? Yes. The address that is um, given yes, mm -hmm. is uh, the responsibility of the petitioner, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at the two attempts of service, right, not served, not served, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we look at the actual instructions for how to issue a protection order, yeah. It mentions in there the last known address. Oh, you remember that? Those instruction forms that I kept sending you about 100,000 times? Yeah. Actual number? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, please check with the court clerk before filling this out. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
using black or blue ink. Yes, the names of the miners, approach. My uh, respondent identifiers, yes. Mm. Mm. And then the law requires, oh, look at that. Is that the same law that uh, the federal and state employees use? Yes. Receive notice of the hearing by what method, since the judge needs to verify that service complied with court rules, timely and proper. Yes, the judge will probably complete this portion for you. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the order needs to list your relationship mm -hmm. and the federal firearms. Please check all. Completing form, check the boxes. This order will be effective unless unknown. Uh, check the same box you check unless you no longer cannot check so on and so forth. Yeah. But uh, you or the judge may want to set a, a return hearing date to review compliance with the order. Yes. Now, uh, the order at statewide database, uh, if your address is within, if your address is without. Yes. Then, unless the respondent, the respondent's lawyer was at the present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must serve on the song. Yeah. Oh, mail or publication, not mail and publication. Yeah. <laughs> and if the judge previously entered uh, allowing service by mail or publication, yeah. Now, if the respondent service address is within the city limits, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly what address did the petitioner put down when she motioned the court to issue it? You mean the petitioner put down a fraudulent address for myself? Oh. Well, it says here, if you want law enforcement to serve the order, yeah, check that box. Yep. Yeah. It's it's right here in number five or six. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where respondent lives. Mm -hmm. Now, since I don't think that's Heidi's handwriting. Yes. And under the penalty of perjury uh, under Washington state law <laughs> that the court would say that it is true and correct that the petitioner motioned the court. <clears throat> Did Heidi put one zero two three kitchen dick rope? <laughs> Now, there's a possible lawsuit here. Mm -hmm. See, you attempted service twice, right, before the court hearing. Good for you, police department. Okay. Okay. And uh, you you decided to have a motion hearing on June 1st of 2015. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there was no attempt of service. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you had another uh, reissuance of the temporary protection order on June 12th. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you set a court date 40 days later, even though, okay, mm -hmm. the law says uh, 14 days if it's personal service or 24 days if it is um if it is 24 days, if it's serviced by mail or serviced by publication. Now, police and sheriff's department, sh sheriff's return of service. Yes. It says not served, not served. Oh, exactly. What address did you attempt to serve me at that the petitioner gave you? When she motioned the court for the fucking order. Oh, she didn't motion you. Well, if she didn't motion you under the penalty of perjury, can you tell me what address you used? Mm -hmm. Because did the court, well, I guess there is a lawsuit there. A big lawsuit. You have no idea how much I dislike you. Now let's think about it for a second. Who, who is it that under the penalty of perjury would have to say that it is true and correct that the information that I filled out, yes, and then the additional information that I have not seen, yes, that the petitioner fills out, yes, mm -hmm. that um, petitioner shall serve by mail or publication. That's not what it says. Yes. Where a respondent lives, we shall personally serve the respondent with a copy of this order. Mm -hmm. What address did the petitioner give you, Sheriff's Department? Well, she didn't acknowledge it, right? Exactly what address did she give you? Or did you decide to use a fraudulent address that I wasn't at? Mm -hmm. Knowing, yes, that I did not reside there. And then knowing that you're two fraudulent attempts of service. Uh oh. Now, let's look at it again, okay? Do you understand the lawsuit right now? You do understand, Sheriff. You understand the fucking lawsuit? 
putting a fraudulent address mm -hmm, in the information that I have not seen, yes, is the fraud of... Ref <laughs>